What is up Wolfpack? Today we're going to be doing a video on my backup truck slash get home setup. For those that have watched my other video about my truck setup, the problem with most get home bags, bug out bags, truck setups, is you tend to put some of your best gear in that setup. And the problem with that is because it's your best gear, you immediately go and reach for it. And what ends up happening is when you finally do need it, you're like, oh man, I accidentally left my Leatherman at home or accidentally left my, my paracord at home. And so you end up stealing or borrowing from your truck setup. And what ends up happening is you, you don't have it when you need it. And so if you could just take one thing from this video is all of that backup gear, the gear that you, you, you've upgraded from that's sitting in that closet, take that stuff and put it in your truck. You're less likely to go and steal from it. You're less likely to go and borrow it because your primary gear is gonna be somewhere else. You're gonna reach for that first. And so if you were gonna take one thing, that's what I would recommend is go do that. Now, um, stick around to the end of the video because for those that know, we're gonna be giving away over $500 worth of goodies, including an SC4 knife. All you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment and you're instantly entered. Feel free to read the description to get the full details of how to get additional entries. But really all you need to do is subscribe and leave a comment and you're instantly entered to win a lot of the stuff that's actually on this table. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through a lot of this stuff and actually walk you through how I set it up and stage it in my truck. Now, for those that know, um, I I've recently swapped out from my Jeep Wrangler to a Toyota Tundra. The reason for that is the Jeep Wrangler had left me stranded three times on the highway due to electrical issues. And I realized that reliability was a lot more important to me than fun. And while the Jeep was a lot of fun, I would much rather have something that's super reliable that I know is going to turn on and know is not going to leave me stranded than driving around with the roof and the doors off. And so with the truck system set up, I installed the decked drawer system. I'll do a video on that in the future if y'all are interested. But as part of that deck drawer system, they come up with these, these totes and these cubbies. And I basically store all of this gear inside of here so that way I can put all that stuff in there. I can pop it open. I can go through it and get the stuff that I need. And so, you know, in no particular order, let's go through all this stuff. Number one, and this is a little bit off camera, that, the, that pair of sneakers that you have sitting in your truck, in, in your garage that you never use, you, you haven't yet, yet to throw away, go ahead and put it in a bag and leave that in your truck. Leave that somewhere because instead of it, those sneakers sitting in your garage, just collecting heat, collecting spider webs. It's much better to have that in your truck. So for whatever reason, an emergency happens, um, you're unable to, you have to like actually walk home and you're sitting there wearing uncomfortable shoes or shoes that are not designed to be walking several miles. You've at least got a pair of old sneakers with a pair of socks that you're able to swap out into and be able to walk home from there. Additionally to that, I've got a, uh, a yoga towel that just collects, you know, it's an old microfiber towel that just collects. Um, and I actually have this sitting here and sometimes I'll come out of the gym and I'll just throw this and drape this over my truck seats. So that way I don't need to worry about it. Additionally, you know, we're talking about backup. This is one of my backup uh, survival blankets. I've already ripped it open out of its package. And so I don't really care about it. And so I'll leave this in, in, the, uh, in the setup as well. Uh, multitude of uses. In addition to signaling, let's say you're in, a, in an accident, you're able to drape this over the back of your vehicle so that way there's high visibility. Um, you can wrap this around yourself for additional heat. You know, it's this was like 99 cents when I got it. Now I just leave it here because I've already ended up using it once. Um, and so I, I don't care about it as much. An old pair of underwear and t-shirts. Um, you know, we, we already have the socks inside of my shoes but an old pair of underwear. That way, for whatever, for whatever reason you need to swap out, you've got a pair of underwear, you've got a pair of uh, an extra t-shirt, you've got an extra shorts, you've got extra socks, you've got an extra change of clothing that you're able to swap out. So I'll throw that in there. Water, water is super important. And so in addition to Aquatabs, you know, I'm in Texas, there's a lot of water and streams everywhere. Uh, I've got a map um, somewhere around here. We'll, we'll pull that open. I've got a map here that, you know, I've already marked out where all of the water is on my route home. So if I wanted to, I could easily use some aqua tabs and be able to purify the water. But in addition to that, I've also got some emergency drinking water just to wet your whistle. And so between these two, I've got my water handled. In addition to that, I'm just throw that in there. In addition to that, I've also got, uh, I'm not a huge fan of these uh, emergency food rations, mainly because they expire after five years. 
But what I like about these, you know, I prefer freeze dries because the last 25 years, but I, the reason I like these, number one, it's 2,400 calories. Um, it's, these are designed for, um, for lifeboats and for, um, you know, just emergency, emergency situations. And what I like about this is number one, it's got a non thirst provoking formula. And so you can, um, you can eat this even if you're low on water. It's got 2,400 calories, so it's actually a three-day supply of, um, of, of food. And so, um, you know, I mean, it's just a, a classic just block of calories. And so it's one of those set and forget it uh, pieces of kit that I'll just keep and I'll just throw in there and not have to worry about it and just know I've got calories for whatever reason. This, I end up using this so much, and so this is one of the stuff that I end up leaving at the top. Uh, it's bug spray. Uh, here in Texas, you know, the mosquitoes are our state bird and they are huge. And uh, I mean, you've got to, you've got to knock them away with a baseball bat. And so I'll just keep this bug spray. This stuff actually works really well. It's deep free. So it's not going to have any of those, those nasty chemicals. This actually stuff works really well. It's just lemon and eucalyptus. It smells like ass, but works like a godsend. And so highly recommend this stuff. Um, and so I'll, I'll usually leave this, I'll leave one near my, my truck and one, uh, one near like the driver's seat and one in the back. You can see here, this one, it's gotten expanded just cause it's sitting, it's been sitting in my truck for so long. Hand sanitizer. You can never have too much hand sanitizer, more calories. You know, these, uh, these Justin's peanut butter classics. I love the vanilla one, but I'll just take this one as well. Be able to throw that in there. Uh, sunscreen, you know, in addition to bug spray, you know, the Texas heat just really, really, it beats down on you. If you've got to walk home 20 miles, uh, the last thing you want to do is end up being sunburned for the lot that, you know, the next 10 days. And so be able to get some good SPF 50, be able to throw that on your face and your arms. No problem. In addition to that, you know, um, we've got a, a, uh, a cotton bandana, a shema around here. That way you're able to cover yourself up, uh, from the sun TP. You can never have, you know, in addition to the wet wipes that we've got here, um, you've got a camp toilet ready to go. And so we'll, we'll keep that there. N95 or KN95 masks, you know, if there was a uh, forest fire, you know, the ability to throw this on and not be inhaling ashes, uh, super important. Uh, in addition, you know, Hey, like we're, we're going through a pandemic right now. And so why not have some extra masks? Um, in addition to that, you know, just it's part of PPE, um, sunglasses. Remember, this is all backup gear grab those cheap gas station sunglasses that are sitting in your closet somewhere that you haven't worn in years and throw them in your truck. So that way you've got them. So that way, if you're walking home in the sun, you, you're not needing to strain your eyes. And so you'll have these cheapo sunglasses sitting in the truck, no problem. But in addition to that, get some clear. There's a, this is one of the things that's going to be super critical to stock up on. I think this was $12 for a pack of 12, just super cheap, clear, um, safety glasses. You know, if, if in a, in a, uh, bad scenario, you're going to be doing a lot more labor, a lot more physical labor stuff that you probably haven't done in a long time. And so safety glasses is super critical. The last thing you want to do is injure your eyes because then you're out of the fight. And so put this on in addition to that, let's say you needed to walk through a forest, uh, on your way home, you know, for, for whatever reason, the roadways are dangerous. They're not exactly the way you want to, you want to be making, making your way through home. Entering a forest, great, but if it's dusk or dawn or actually in the middle of the night, the last thing you want to do is get poked out by a branch. And so putting these on, the clear glasses, will make sure that your eyes stay protected and you're, you're having those covered. A couple different cutting implements. Um, I've got one of my old uh, Moras. Uh, this one's the fire steel one, so it's got the fire steel option here. And so, you, you know, I, I love the Moras. I mean, I think everyone should have 10 of these. Moras are phenomenal. They're easily one of my favorite knives. Uh, in addition to that, the Baco Laplander. I mean, this thing is phenomenal. This one's one of my backups. Um, I mean, if you've, if you've got a branch in the middle of the road or you just needed to cut up some firewood, I mean, is there anything better than the Baco Laplander? I think it's like 15, 20 bucks and absolutely incredible. Um, I love this thing, the Leatherman Skeletool. I just, I've upgraded to the Leatherman Surge. And so this is one of those things that was sitting in my closet being unused because I had upgraded to something better. But this is an absolutely phenomenal multi-tool. It's got everything you need and nothing you don't. You've got pliers, you've got a bit driver, you have a awesome, this is an excellent 154 CM blade, stays super sharp. Uh, in addition, the most important of the tools, a little bit of a bottle opener. So you can crack open your Topo Chico's no problem. This one I actually keep near the uh, the front of the driver's seat in the truck bed. Um, I love this thing. I mean, Kershaw is maybe my favorite knife maker. 
probably the best bang for the buck. I love this thing. It's a it's a uh, emergency knife. It's got the seatbelt cutter. It's got the glass breaker. And is there anything cooler than a flipper knife? Um, you know, you've got that going. And in addition to that, it's got an awesome finger choil if for whatever reason you need to cut something else. But you're probably not going to be doing too much bush crafting here. And so I love this thing. I'll just keep this by the front, um, not necessarily inside of here. And so I'll put this to the side. Gloves, super important. If you're changing a tire or needing to do anything uh, around the truck, uh, getting some a, a nice pair of work gloves to protect your hands and avoid busts and knuckles, super critical. Get one of your old pairs, throw it in there, throw it in your box, you're ready to go. Ziploc bags, you can never have too many Ziploc bags. I've got one empty one that I can use as a water container. Um, but then I also have all of my old, these are all my old medical kits. Um, we've already talked about the Adventure Medical. I love these things. It's literally got all of the medicine you need in addition to an electrolyte tab. Um, you know, you've got some uh, allergy medication, fever reducers, pain reducers. This thing's phenomenal, it's just a handful of bucks. Some, some Band-Aids, some moleskins, some gauze, some wraps. Everything, all of my old old medical stuff, I'll just throw it in there. That way I've, I've got Band-Aids and ready, things ready to go. Oh, there's the map. I told you, so you want to keep a map. You know, I'm in Texas. I've got all of this thing, all of my routes marked. Um, pro tip, use railroads and rail lines to help you get home. They're, they're usually going to be pretty empty and they're going to be pretty, uh, uh, you know, it's an easy way to just continue to walk home. You just be able to follow the railroads all the way home. And so have those marked out. Put some, put a compass, keep three compasses because if you have one compass broken and you've only got two, then you don't know which one's broken. And so if you have three, then you can know, okay, this one's busted, the other two. And so I'll have these, I've got one other button compass that's sitting in the headlamp behind my truck bed rest. And then um, obviously you've got the compass on your phone. And so you've got all of that stuff. And so map and compass, keep that stuff in there. This is stuff that I just never take out of my, uh, out of my truck. Super important a solar battery bank to charge your phone and a universal charging grid. So that way you can charge your phone, you can charge any of your devices and you've got this all ready to go. Keep it topped up. If I, if for whatever right reason I end up using this, I'll throw this on my dashboard, let it soak up some sun and it'll be ready to go in a few, few days and I'll be back in action. A Bofang radio already pre-programmed to all of my favorite stations, all of my favorite local stations. Uh, I also have, my wife has one. She knows exactly which frequency I'm gonna be on in case of emergency. And so keep, keep, keep these stocked up, keep it in your, in your truck, make sure it's topped off. Set a quarterly reminder to ensure that the battery's going. I've had this in my truck for over a year and it's still almost brand new battery. And so no need to worry about that, but it's still good to just check quarterly um, to make sure everything's looking good. Floss. For a variety of reasons, um, it's awesome for threading, it's awesome for cordage, um, but it's also for cleaning your teeth. So keep some, some floss in there, it takes up no room at all. One of my old, old backup knives, um, the Gerber LMF2. I love this thing, I bought this thing over 10 plus years ago, uh, but obviously I've upgraded since then. Um, what I like about this thing, particularly as a, as a truck knife, um, number one, I mean, you could beat this thing all to hell and you'll have no problem. Yeah, it's got serrations, and so you're not going to be, you know, be able to bushcraft with this. But what this is really designed for, this is actually not a full tang knife by design. This is actually designed as an egress tool, and so for whatever reason you needed to cut an electrical wire, this would not shock the user because it's not a full tang, because it's got that rubber over mold. It's designed to number one, you could punt. They they've shown videos of this puncturing a helicopter fuselage. I mean, this thing will, will you, can, you can crack open a door with this thing. You could punch this right through metal, no problem. And so it's a nice, awesome beater knife. In addition to that, you've got this massive, massive pommel. I mean, I think this is the biggest pommel I've seen on any knife of this size. And so you could crack, crack open a windshield. You could crack open a skull. You could do a lot of things with this. And so absolutely phenomenal as a truck knife. In addition to that, it's got an integrated sharpener. And so for whatever reason you need to, to, to sharpen up, you can be ready to go. And this has got an awesome drop leg design. It's got both uh, the nylon as well as, this isn't a Kydex, I think this is a, a, a Zytel, uh, but it's absolutely a great sheath. Not a, a primary knife, this is a, a backup beater knife, but for in your truck, a knife that's gonna, you know, you, you know is gonna, you can rely on it, absolutely phenomenal. So just be able to throw that in there and not have to worry about it is absolutely great. One of my old mag, what is it? Mag, it's been so long since I've used these mag lights. Um, 
you know, this, I, I've, I, everyone's upgraded. You're, we're no longer using D cells, but this thing's probably been sitting in your garage for years. Why not grab it, throw it in your truck, and you know that no matter what, you're gonna have an awesome light. In addition to that, you can crack some skulls with this. And so throw this in there. You'll always have something and you're less likely to grab it because you've got a great stream light or a, uh, a uh, what's, that, what's that other one? The Black Scout Survival Knife. I love that thing. I'm, I have a great video about that. Fire implements. You know, we've got the Uber Lieben, but this is a, a cheap knockoff. I don't know which one this is. This is a, uh, a Bushcraft Bushcraft Survival. I don't know what this is, but this is like a similar to the Uber Lieben. So you've got, you've got over an hour worth of tinder in here. Uh, my old fire steel. I mean, this thing is, you know, I mean, I barely use this thing, but I, I love it. Some more, some more tinder. If you've ever tried to start a fire in the Pacific Northwest, you know how difficult it is. And so you can never have too much tinder. You can never have too many fire implements. And so why not throw that in there? It's great for morale. It's great for lighting. It's great for safety. It's great for boiling water. Fire is one of the most critical things. Cash. Sometimes you just need to pay a cab driver hundred dollars to get home. Sometimes that might, be, that might be easier than walking 20 miles. I know it's $100 a lot, but it's one, you know, I, I have $100 in here. I'm going to leave this in here. In addition to that, I've got a $100 bill tucked behind my phone case. And so I've got $200 there. $200 will get you out of most jams. And so if you can afford it, even $20, $30, throw some coins, throw some silver coins, throw that in there, not have to worry about it. You want to talk about cheap gas station lights? In addition to the to the mag light, this is the backup of backups. I think I've had this thing for 15 plus years, but it still works. You know, I mean, barely. I mean, you can barely you can barely see it, but it's got a, a crank on it. And so, there we go. It's a little brighter now, but at least no matter what, I've got a light that I don't need to worry about batteries. I don't need to worry about the D light. Um, it's not as good as a headlamp, of course. Not as good as any of my other lights, but it's something. It's my backup. Why not? Throw it in there. You'll, you'll always have something ready to go. Survival bivy. I've got a bunch of these. Once again, an awesome little sleeping bag. If you're, if you're you know, walking home and you have to spend the night, you've got one of these. Or hell, if you want to spend the, the night in the truck. What I like about this one is it's, it's, it's rip proof. It's breathable. You're able to do a lot with this. And so grab this, throw this in the truck as well an old roll of duct tape. I mean, this thing's been beat all to hell. Um, surprisingly, it holds up pretty well. This has been in my truck for over a year. Um, even with the heat, still works, still ticky, still sticky, still tacky, and you're able to use this. So throw that in there. The Grail water filter. I hate this thing. I bought it and I was like, oh, this is going to be phenomenal. I hate it. I, I, I much rather prefer uh, some of my other water purification methods. And so this was sitting in my closet for years being unused. And I'm like, why? Let me just grab it, throw it in my truck, and now I've got an easy way to, to have a water filtration system. The way this works, I can walk up to any stream, scoop up the dirty water in here. You can see the filters at the bottom here. You do this, it's a plunge method. You press down and the water will go, you gotta un unscrew this to the top. The water will go through all the way into the main reservoir and you're able to, you can, you can hear the, you can hear it actually pushing the air through. It's a it's an okay system. I mean, I much prefer uh, some of my other ones. So you can look at the videos about the other systems. But if it's going to be sitting in my closet, why not put it in my truck? And then that way I've got nice, clean, filtered water all the way home. Not have to worry about it. I'll throw that in there. In addition to that, a, a cook and camp stove. If I needed to boil water, I could do that. I could literally dip this directly in a, in a fire, not have a problem. This is also has two nesting cups. And so if I needed to, to make some stews or uh, make some drinks, I can do so as well. Uh, this is my backup as well. And so I'll throw this in there, have no problem. Some of my old paracord. You can never have too much paracord, you can never have too much bank line. This is all backups. You know, this is an, a super old paracord bracelet that I haven't worn in years. I'll just grab all this stuff, throw it in there. I know I've got cordage. Can never have too many trash bags. There's a million uses for this. I will have this one, a super lightweight one that I can use for actual garbage. In addition to that, I will also have a handful of these contractor grade triple mill bags. You could put this as a floor bed for your sleeping tent. 
Uh, you could stuff it with leaves and create some insulation in the ground layer between you and the floor. Um, I mean, there's a multitude of uses for contractor grade uh, bags. And so we'll throw that in there as well. Tent stakes, I mean, we've talked about this. If you've ever been trying to set up camp while it begins to drizzle and all of a sudden starts pouring, you don't wanna be sitting there with your knife fashioning tent stakes. Super lightweight, they weigh nothing. I think these are less than a dollar each. Why not grab a handful of these and that way you can be spending less time carving tent stakes and more time setting up camp and being able to enjoy yourself and jumping to the fire. In addition to that, a nine by 12 foot plastic drop. You can get these for pennies at Home Depot. Super cheap, but if you've ever uh, been at a campsite and there's just mud everywhere, this thing is, is, is definitely a savior. Being able to put down a, a tarp, a plastic drop cloth across your campground, be able to use these to just stake them down. And then that way your, your, your tent spot stays dry. It's not soaking up the mud from below. I mean, even if you're in a proper tent, you know, the mud will start soaking through the cloth. And so putting down one of these will help at least just create one extra layer between you and the ground. It's super valuable. In addition to that, it helps keep your tent dry. Uh, so you can take this, recycle it once you're done versus having to go and hose off your tent. And so it makes camping super easy, makes breakdown super easy. And so you've got this ready to go. You, we've talked about this. I love this thing. This thing is the, uh, I have a handful of these. These are the U-Tool survival tarps. Um, it's got dual purpose. Number one, it's completely waterproof tarp with grommets. So you're able to uh, use this as shelter. In addition to that, you can see here, it's got a survival blanket. So you could wrap it around yourself, uh, wrap it around a victim uh, if they're injured, you know, to prevent shock. Multitude of, of uses. You can put this on the ground. Um, it's, it's thick enough that I've put this on, on actual snow and had been, been able to be a, um, adequately insulated from the snow. And so this is, this is your shelter system. So you're able to throw that in there. Um, just a quick microfiber cloth. You can never have too many of these. Wipe your face, wipe your hands, throw that away. And then a cotton bandana. Uh, be able to, to wrap your head, be able to protect yourself from sun, be able to filter water. Multitude of reasons. Grab one of your old ones, throw it in your truck bed, and you'll, 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 you'll be glad you did. And that's pretty much it. Everything fits in, the, in, the, in here. You're able to handle all that stuff. And now you're less likely to reach in there and pull out things because you know that your, your primary gear is elsewhere. And so I hope this video gave you a little bit of inspiration to go and dig out some of your old gear from your closet, put it in an old, in an old shoe box or a deck drawer system if you can, if you can uh, afford it. I absolutely highly recommend it. Be able to have that all ready to go. And then that way you're always ready to go. I've also got that packable backpack in here. So that way I can stage my gear, be ready to go, and then actually start heading home if, if need be. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks a lot, everyone. As a quick reminder, once again, subscribe and leave a comment and you'll instantly be entered to win not only an SC4, but over $500 worth of, of goodies. Um, I'll put a link in the description to describe more. Really looking forward to it. Hope you found this video helpful. Give me a thumbs up and look forward to the next one. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks.